Okay, Pisces, this is your bonus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. All right. I've been rolling these readings out um, so fast. Pisces, let's see what we got for my Pisces season and love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. High Priestess, love it. And who leave comments, likes, and shares. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the new people, the current people, and the past people. All right. Let's see. Now, I'm not going to take it because I have, yeah, I have to take it. High Priestess. I was going to say, let me ask Spirit a question, but the High Priestess wants to be seen. Okay? So that's Pisces Energy. That's Pisces Major Arcana, if you guys are not aware. As you can see, that's the title of my reading. That's the title of my <laughs> channel. And you have the star. Wow, beautiful. Nine of Cups. You're someone's wish fulfillment. Absolutely beautiful. And you have the star. All right, so someone could be, uh, yeah. All right, let me, let me pull. Pisces love bonus. This is dark. Ooh, quick. Six of Wands reverse. I like the Six of Wands reverse because someone is not arrogant. You have the Knight of Cups reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could have been fighting with, them, with another water sign. Let's get 10 cards because I go so quickly. Pisces. <laughs> you have the Queen of Cups and King of Coins. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And Judgment, Karma here. Pisces, why are you reversed? Queen of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And now the Knight of Cups reversed. Someone's making you upset. And the devil is here, Capricorn. Wow. Pisces. Messages from our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do Pisces need to know for the future? All right. So you have temperance coming out on the side. So I'm going to put in a bright. That's Sagittarius energy. All right. All right. So I can't even ask spirit. You have two cards. And I pulled over the Queen of Cups again. Defensive. You don't guard. You don't trust people, Pisces, here. Let's see what this is poking out. Virgo. Hermit energy. So you have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands. You're on guard protecting your energy. At the bottom is judgment again and karma. Wow. So it's time for Pisces, the High Priestess, to make a judgment call here. Pisces. Love. What do we got? Oh, nostalgia. Someone is missing Pisces. Oh, Pisces, you're missing someone. One more. Pisces love. Woo! <laughs> this one kept hitting my hand. Knight of Coins. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. And Judgment again. Here's Judgment again. Karma. Karma is here, Pisces. Pisces love. Make sure you can see the table. Two of Cups at the bottom, 11, 11, and the King of Swords. And the Two of Cups at the back. Wow, love. A soulmate. Soulmate, Pisces. Let me make sure you can see that. You got the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. So a soulmate coming in for your future there. All right. High Priestess, secrets. Who is this? Why is my High Priestess holding on to a secret? Page of Pentacles and not wanting to be bothered. You're waiting for someone to contact you, Pisces. Is that it? <laughs> with that page of with that page of pentacles, or someone is waiting for you. Who is the nine of cups? Empress energy. Very wise woman, older woman, Libra Taurus energy. You're my wish fulfillment, Pisces. You're saying to someone, or someone is saying that to you. Um, six of Wands. Cups. Wow, that Six of Wands is confirming the Six of Wands. I just love it when it does that. And you have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So you have love, Pisces, that you want to offer someone, but you want to make sure that that love is genuine. Right, Pisces? I feel you. I get it. Who is this Knight of Cups for my Pisces? Wow, the Two of Cups. So you kind of flipped around. I was going to put it up, right? So you are falling in and out of love. You have a lot of suitors. Okay. You're falling in and out of love is what I'm getting. Okay, one minute you're in love, the next minute you're not. Um, King of Coins, who is this? I got a lot of suitors. Too many people, too many options. Knight of Coins, yeah, that's that player energy. Um, running into love. And then, why did I get into this connection? Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, as well as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, um, let me see. Patience, why is Temperance here? 
The devil. Toxic in someone is crazy. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So someone is having patience in this connection and wanting to work on things because someone is addicted to you or you're addicted to them. See how you see fit? Or someone has an addiction to you, towards you. Who's the Queen of Cups? They love you, Pisces, but uh, I think you have your guard up. King of Swords, yeah. Protecting your energy. No longer giving your, your cup of love away so easily. You're becoming more logical. All right, thinking in your head before you react. This, that, Knight of Wands. If someone came to you too quickly, you kind of said, wait a minute, I don't know. It's moving too fast. Who's the Nine of Wands? We're moving too fast, Pisces. Here's the Knight of Swords, crazy for Gemini again. <laughs> and someone is on guard. Is that you, Pisces, or your partner? So this could be a, a crazy for Gemini. And you are reversed, though. So this person could be falling head over heels, and you might be pumping the brakes. Like, wait a minute, it's moving too fast. Who's the Six of Cups? Who's falling in love with Pisces? A lot of water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have the Ace of Swords, so someone is not telling you they miss you, or you're not telling someone you miss them, okay? And then you have someone else who's moving quickly in love with you because you're not over your past. Who's the Ten of Cups? Yeah, trust issues, Five of Swords. You're having trust issues, therefore you won't be able to commit to anyone if you don't open up your trust, or someone doesn't trust you. All right, so let me see. What's the final advice for Pisces? Absolutely beautiful reading. Five of Wands. Yeah, and a Seven of Swords. Deception. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is why you're pumping your brakes in secrets. You don't trust someone or someone doesn't trust you. Now, this could be with their heart that they don't trust you with that Four of Pentacles. Or they just don't trust you, period. Or someone is irresponsible financially. And uh, maybe this is why you pump your brakes because someone doesn't have money, someone doesn't have responsible, someone is not, someone's irresponsible basically. <laughs> okay, nip that in the bud. Also be a secret that someone's secretly in love with you and you are secretly still in love with your past, okay? So let me see, Pisces love, what's the advice? That's new love, is it? Surprise, wow. So some people might get some surprises on Monday for our V-Day. What else do we have? Oh, fantasy and seduction. Okay. Pisces, Valentine's Day is looking up for you, Pisces. Hey. Valentine's Day love, Pisces. Somebody's getting a Valentine's Day surprise. I love it. All right, so I got to do my nails, you guys. Excuse, pardon. <laughs> you have vacation. So someone might, might want to take you on vacation. All right, or you might take yourself on vacation. Let's get one more or two more. Ooh. Her, okay, love it. And someone wants to talk, have the conversation. Okay, you have her and energy. Wow, so someone loves your energy, Pisces. Your energy is electrifying. All right, so I love it. That's the name of the reading. Your energy is electrifying. A surprise, fantasy and seduction. So get it in. Somebody's doing you in, or you doing them in. But someone doesn't trust someone. There's a lot of distrust here. And I can tell you for sure with that high priest is coming out as the main energy and um, a, a lot of offers in love. So you might have to turn down some surprises, some love connections, I don't know. Or someone is sitting here waiting for a love connection because the high priestess and the four swords is like, look, I don't know. You, you, you're not interested in taking any more risk. You took too many. All right, so anyway, it looks beautiful. Surprise, fantasy, seduction, um, vacation, energy, and her. So someone loves your energy, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful. This was a beautiful reading. I'm glad we did this today. So I'll see you next extended. God bless and namaste.